Hello and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. This is a very special adventure in TV Land. At the when this video will be released, it will be October second, twenty twenty four, and this is the fifth anniversary of this channel, Adventures in TV Land. I I guess technically the channel was created a few weeks before that in September, but the first video that I uploaded was on October 2nd, 2019. So in this, this fifth anniversary, I just wanted to share with everyone out there just a few things that I have learned about YouTube and on YouTube over the past five years. Now, just a little bit of backstory. Um, the reason why I got in, involved in making videos and posting them on YouTube, I, at the time, in 2019, I had actually, I was doing some travel writing on the side and was trying to make a side hustle of that as I was working full time. And I, my brother, he said, you know what, there's a couple guys out there that on YouTube, they remind me of you. And I think you should start making YouTube videos. And I kind of pushed him, pushed that off to the side. Looking back now in hindsight, I wish I would have gotten in earlier in 2019 when I was doing some of that writing, but I didn't. I just kind of pushed it off because like I'm going to focus on the travel writing. I want to try to, you know, make this as a secondary income, a second career. And I did. I did pretty well at it. I had a over almost 20 articles published on the course of a year and a half. And um, it was, you know, enjoyed it. Now, it takes a lot of time <laughs> when you're writing. And so then I thought about the video thing. And for the first 34 years of my life, I had wanted to be in film and to make movies. And so I thought about it and I watched a few and it's a few videos here or there of, of things kind of with the travel related aspect. And it was like, you know, maybe I can do this kind of as a secondary supplement for the, the travel writing. I can you know, continue doing the travel writing and I can supplement that with the w making YouTube videos. Because for when you're writing an article, especially a travel article, you can't just write about any old thing. I mean, there has to be, there's a reason for it. The, there's a point, you know, you have to, it has to be something people would be actually interested in, not just yourself. And so, but with a YouTube video, you can make a YouTube video about anything. And, you know, there were, there were a few ideas, a few things there that they weren't, didn't really make a good story idea for a magazine or article somewhere. But it's like, well, I can make a video about those things, about those places. And so that's how it kind of, I got started and it took off from there. And then over time, then the pandemic happened and like everything shut down, wasn't really able to travel. And, but I still wanted to continue making kind of the videos because there was at least something to do, an outlet, because I didn't have enough experience to I couldn't go anywhere and I didn't have enough previous previous experience to write about places I had not yet been so I started making more videos and doing the videos and kind of that kind of shifted things and so I started making more YouTube videos and that's kind of that over overtook things I've only written a couple of articles now since then I would love to write more travel articles it just um, it just takes more, it takes time. It takes a longer amount of time. And I focused more on making the videos now than I have doing the travel writing. And so that's how I got into YouTube. That's a little bit about me. Now, the, over the course of the five years of being on this platform, here are some things that I have learned. Number one, YouTube is a marathon and not a sprint. Now, a lot of people that get involved, they start a YouTube channel, they think they're going to post a few videos and then get instantly monetized and then have all this huge success and it doesn't happen. They slowly get discouraged and then they, they just stop because they thought they approached it as being a sprint and not a marathon. Um, it could happen. You know, you could post a video and then suddenly get all this, it'll go viral and have all this fame and a little bit of money that comes in and you could you start off your channel really well, really at the beginning. But the chances of that, because that does happen, 
but the chances are so, so insignificant. Instead, the people who have the most success and a long-term success on YouTube are the ones who approach it with you know, consistency, they have a plan, they have a vision, they stay focused, and they, they, they run the race, they continue running the race. Now, personally, I have yet to run a marathon. It is on my goal, my list of th things I would like to do in my life. I'm hoping the next few years to do so. I have done a couple of half marathons. I've done all kinds of 5Ks and 7Ks and 10Ks and things in like that in there. And the key to finishing any of those races is you just have to stick with it. You cannot approach it as a sprint. Even the, the fastest runners, the best runners, they do not run at full throttle the whole way through because they're unable to do so. It is a huge distance. And if you approach it as a sprint, if you're sprinting from the beginning and trying to do that all the way through to the end, you will not make it. You will uh, tire and you will you will have to stop the rest. And that you may be able to go in spurts, but you will not be able to do it at that speedy pace the whole way through. YouTube's kind of the same way. I mean, you can have a faster pace. For success, you just have to be consistent and focused. And you may have times when you are running a little faster, posting a few more videos, things here and there. But it's that time consistency, you know, the regular uploads, the staying focused on the goal, what you are, tr what you are trying to achieve. Number two! This ties in with the previous point. Of course, all, all these points, they do tie together. But number two is that despite what you might think and believe at the beginning, you will probably never have a viral video on YouTube. That is right. That is correct. That You have heard me. You will probably never have a viral video on YouTube. I have been now, this is my fifth year anniversary. I have uploaded, not yet, but almost 900 long-term videos, a few live streams, and over a thousand shorts. And none of those have gone viral, none. A lot of people, they think, you know, I'm going to upload a video. Oh, I just got to have that viral video, that one big hit, and then I'll be set and I'll be ready to go. And it'll make everything so much easier. Now, it could happen. I'm not saying it won't happen. But the probability is that it will not happen. Most, most creators, most people on YouTube, they've never had a viral video. There are some. And if you do, take advantage of it. If you're... If you have a video that goes viral, use that to the best of your advantage for the short amount of time that you can because it'll be gone and then whatever comes from that, the subscribers, the, the funding, the opportunities from that video, they will not stick around. And so you be prepared for that. So if it does happen, you are ready. But most people, you don't have to worry about it because it's not going to happen. So the key is that if it does, be prepared if it does happen, but also realize that it will probably never happen. You will probably never have a video go viral on YouTube. Number three. If you are consistent and you approach things as a marathon and not a sprint and you are prepared just in case you do have a viral video even though you probably won't eventually you might you know be able to have a supplemental income through youtube or you know even 
have be earn enough to kind of support yourself. I I don't make much money through YouTube through the AdSense on YouTube. It took a it took about um, um, almost 18 months originally for me to get monetized in the first oh year or so that I was monetized it was it was pretty neat because I was steadily making more income I was being consistent and then I don't know what happened I guess one of the YouTube adpocalypses or something in the income that I got from AdSense it was cut almost in half and now it has taken almost another two years to get up I'm making about as much as I was two years ago when all that happened. I don't know what happened. Uh, I mean, it was something was across the board. YouTube, they changed something. Google changed something. And the videos, I, even though I had been getting more uh, watch time, I had more videos, I was getting more views, had more subscribers, like the money was not there as the, the way it had been initially when I had been monetized. With that said, I still only earn like a hundred dollars every couple of a months. So about every two months, I might have a hundred dollars. Sometimes it takes three months for that to happen. You f you do the math. That is not a whole lot of money. Um, so, but I'm I, I realize I'm different from some. I mean, there are people out there who have been along as long as I have. They have a different niche, a different focus. They earn a lot more than I do. They earn enough work, even though it's not a highly sustainable living. Um, they make enough. They make it a really valuable side hustle. They're earning a thousand dollars or more a month, and it's not quite enough for them they, to to leave their jobs. But they are making substantial income there. I'm I'm not on there. You know, that's not a. I'm not at that level anywhere right now. So, but. The chances are, if you stay with it, you will. You'll, you'll earn a decent side income or even be able to eventually support yourself just on this platform. And tying into that is point number four. That while although you might be able to supplement your income or you know even make a, a really nice side hustle on the side or even make a a modest income what they don't want to tell you is that you probably will never get wealthy making YouTube videos that's right you will probably never get wealthy making YouTube videos now it is true there are some really large creators out there uh, the biggest one right now of course is Mr. Beast who is under some a lot of turmoil right now, but I mean, there are other ones. Some of those have been around for a long time. Even if you look at Mr. Beast, I mean, he, he's been on the platform for almost since the beginning. You will, now some of these have made, some of these individuals have made a lot of money and some of them make a lot of money off the AdSense. But most of them, the ones that even that are wealthy, they don't make money just from making the YouTube videos. They make it off of the sponsorships for their videos. They make it off of the other deals that are incorporated with their videos. So they'll, you know, they'll have merchandise for sale. They'll mention something. It may not be sponsored. It'll be an affiliate link. They'll mention something, and there's a link in their description or that pops up in the video, something like that. They have people in Patreon pages and different things like that. People donating them money. They have a business on the side. They're probably half of the, over half of the channels on YouTube are business related channels. That YouTube is just a way to direct money into the into their business. It is, it is truly a, a side thing. It is not something for them to actually really get income it's a, and it, other than advertising. That's all it is. So yes, it is, I mean, those people, they do make money and even though you might make money, you will probably never become wealthy making YouTube videos. Which brings us to point number five. When YouTube no longer becomes enjoyable, then stop. Now, you know, it could just mean that YouTube, it's, 
I know everyone out there, they're not doing this for the fun of it necessarily. Some There's a lot of people, as I had mentioned earlier, it's a side thing to bring advertising to their business. And the if you if you're doing that and you're you're not actually getting some sort of enjoyment out of doing that then you should stop maybe you shouldn't be the one making the videos for your business for that have someone else do it now if you're doing this on your own you should just be doing it while it's enjoyable you shouldn't and when it's no longer enjoyable you need to stop and i'm not saying you have to stop permanently but stop for a bit Take a break, a step back for your own mental health, for the, the sake of your own clarity, um, just to reevaluate things. Stop. If it's not enjoyable anymore, then stop. Don't do it. You shouldn't be doing this and looking at this and like, even though it might be your job, it might be your profession, but if it becomes a drag where you like, you, you don't like where you no longer look forward to making videos and putting them out there and building your channel and growing the audience. When any when that becomes, it just becomes a, a, a dreary drag, stop. As for myself, I still find this very enjoyable. I enjoy making videos. I, I have branched out and I'm trying other, a few other things other than just doing strictly kind of the vlogging, travel videos, things like that. I, you know, I do the movie reviews, I've gone kind of the food testing a little bit, taste testing things, and, you know, some other things. I'm hoping to do some book reviews and just continue the trying things out to, to incorporate, to, to keep a variety, keep things, to keep this channel going so that it is fun and it is enjoyable. Um, some of the things work, some of them don't, some of them I like better, some of the, you, them you like better out there, the audience, and it's just a continuing process, but I have no intentions of stopping, stopping this channel, anything like that. I don't know how much longer YouTube will be around, though, sadly, it's hard to say. I mean, it, um, you know, really, I mean, even though we're in the infancy of kind of social media still, I mean, things, they do have a life cycle, and who knows? Another five, ten years from now, there may not be YouTube. There may not be social media as we know it. It's hard to say. I mean, ten years ago, it was unfathomable that broadcast television, not cable, but just regular broadcast TV, would be on the verge of an extinction. But that is the case now. I mean, um, and that partially that's because of the, the networks and the studios that's partially their own doing because they wanted to compete in the streaming business but um, anyway so yeah so these this is my fifth year anniversary I want to thank all of you who have been here those of you who have watched since the beginning there are a few out there who have for anyone who is new I thank you I th thank you for the time you've taken and uh, I appreciate you watching this video I hope you enjoy. I hope you've been able to take something away. And uh, that's about all I have to say right now. So, until next time, that's a wrap.